हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज जनत अली कमाल एंड यू आर वाचिंग हिंदुस्तान इन हिंदुस्तान अराउंड 6.4 लाख न्यूनेटल डेथ्स अकर एवरी ईयर यूनिसेफ बिलीव्स दैट मोर देन 80 परसेंट ऑफ दीज डेथ्स कैन बी प्रिवेंटेड विद प्रोविजंस ऑफ प्रॉपर सैनिटेशन एंड बाय प्रोवाइडिंग ट्रेन्ड हेल्थ वर्कर्स एज वेल एज मिड द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट टू काउंटर दिस प्रॉब्लम हैज कम अप विद two important strategies which include national rural health missions and the reproductive maternal newborn child and endowment strategy to further discuss this issue that is prevailing in hindustan we have with us manoj kumar dr manoj kumar is the best lawyer in the corporate m and a strategy and policy and regulation practice space in india dr kumar has also been mentoring doctors for you as patron to provide medical care during natural calamities and to prevent neonatal deaths in india thank you so much dr manoj for joining us manoj as we see hindustan has the highest number in neonatal deaths so you being a part of the regulation and policy making for this matter how important is it to take this issue seriously i think uh, it's very important to see at the f- look at the figures uh, you know on neonatal deaths in india uh, unicef came out with a report in 2018 uh, which is not very long ago and uh, they had that flagged the five worst uh, jurisdictions where neonatal deaths were at a very high alarming rate i think primarily the top 5 were pakistan with 45.6 uh, central african republic with 42.3 afghanistan 40 somalia 38 lesotho 30, 38.5 and india uh, was actually the unicef report showing a significant improvement of about 66% uh, improvement in uh, or reduction in neonatal deaths from 1990 to 2015 figures and uh, india actually has a target of 25 uh, per 1000 to be achieved by 2030 so uh, we have actually seen as a significant improvement but there is a long way to go on that and it is a very serious issue for that matter yeah. so manoj what are the key challenges still prevailing in the implementation of these policies i think uh, the challenges uh, have been uh, we have facing and learning along the way so if if i can just map the way policies have moved in this direction <clears throat> to control neonatal deaths in india uh, it all started with uh, you know the atal bihari gram uh, sadak yojana uh, let's understand before we get into the policies the challenges on neonatal deaths is accessibility of medical services knowledge of the people uh, so that uh, timely and the correct decision making is made uh at the time of deliveries by the mothers and the kin who are around them and of course uh, you know the complete uh, 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 attention on nutrition and 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 the whole hand holding which is the midwifery part in india the policy development had taken place in a few phases uh, uh, atal bihari uh, gram sadak yojana actually was directed to bring hospitals closer to mothers closer to uh, uh, you know to to uh, 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 women uh, who were facing delivery we also then had the national rural health mission which came out with a very revolutionary uh, change of uh, asha workers so asha workers were supposed to be friends of women uh, in 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 the family way they were supposed to i mean they hand hand hold women in terms of taking them to the hospital uh taking care of them at home giving all the advice required uh then we have also had uh, a major change in strategy in terms of the manpower which is supposed to give support uh in this space so from from the employment uh, regime uh, the government shifted to a contract based regime so essentially the moment we have a contract based regime the quality of medical services the quality of manpower uh, improved significantly because uh, there was a lot more accountability the services could be terminated in case people were not good and at the so, services so so manoj what so do you across think across the spectrum yeah what do you think that how has the government played a role in making the policies implement in each of these uh, uh, policy initiatives that i'm talking about are essentially policies initiated by the government and implemented uh, uh by by a mix of central government initiative the state governments and uh, you know local bodies which which handle uh, 
these kind of support systems at the local level. Uh, for example, uh, Niti Aayog's entire thrust over the last four years on giving a lot more focus on livelihood and nutrition. Now that essentially involved state governments as much as local bodies, uh, which were running primary health centers as well as district health centers, and the state governments which were providing medical support and budget. So uh, this whole process is a very coordinated process uh, between the central government, the state government, and the local bodies. So Manoj, I'll take a short break here. After after a short break, we'll talk about the key factors to reduce the neonatal deaths. We'll take a short break here. So Manoj, what do you think? What are the key factors and why Hindustan could not manage to reduce the neonatal deaths till now? Well, as I was mentioning, there has been significant uh, change. So it won't be correct to say that Hindustan has not, India has not been able to meet the challenges. We have met the challenges significantly. There has been a reduction of nearly 66% in neonatal deaths from 1990 to 2015. And definitely uh, at, at ranking at 12, India is still ahead of quite a few uh, in the low income economies uh, globally. Having said that, it is a challenge and we have to meet it. Uh, the issues that remain to be uh, still addressed are one, 24-7 uh, surgical facilities. Uh, at, at all levels so that uh, at any given point in time across uh, any any part of the clock, if, if uh, there is a difficulty, uh, uh, surgical process is available and it's not far away from the patient concerned. Uh, improved uh, midwifery uh, services. In fact, the government has very recently uh, approved a course for midwives, uh, which is, uh, uh, you know, for the first time it's starting in India. It's quite a common phenomenon in some of the other developed economies because the skill set requires uh, required in, in, in deliveries and handling of mother and care in this phase is something very unique and not necessarily the same kind of skill set which is required for a normal nurse. Uh, I think this would help create a, 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 a very dedicated and uh, a large cadre which should uh, significantly help in reducing neonatal uh, deaths in India going forward. So Manoj, how important do you think is the education of mothers, especially in the rural areas of Hindustan, to prevent the neonatal death? I think uh, uh, if, if India, uh, like most uh, you know developing economies or uh, countries of this part of the world, we have had very traditional systems of handling, uh, essentially systems which are more home driven in handling deliveries. The challenges we faced was uh, in a study recently is that 85% deliveries are normal and 15% are deliveries where uh, you know medical support is required. Uh, at, at the mother level, uh, two, three issues uh, that we are also working on as well through these policies. One is uh, uh, to help them take decisions. Uh, when we uh, request them to take decisions which are outside the uh, you know family domain cultural social norms uh, operation is something not uh, readily accepted accepted by everybody across the spectrum we, down in villages uh, people uh, don't really subscribe to a medical surgical process so easily so a, a lot of uh, you know counseling to uh, take decision number one and the decision is not wrong because it is in the interest of mother and child uh, that kind of a role uh, will is, is is very necessary, and also a lot more focus on nutrition, uh, because the traditional nutrition at times uh, uh, is not sufficient, and we've seen that lack of nutrition or malnutrition has resulted in neonatal deaths either at the pre-delivery stage or even at a post-delivery stage. So Manoj, do you think that neonatal deaths are because of the lack of safe water, sanitation, and adequate food security? I think uh, the concerns are uh, beyond safe water because if that was so, if it was sanitation or safe water driven, the numbers would not have been in the range of 85% normal deliveries. Then we would have had a more widespread, you know, India is still a rural economy in, in a large sense. So if, if these were the challenges, then uh, the numbers would have been far worse than what we're talking about. So it's more about uh, improving uh, and taking it to the next level to actually address the issues uh, such as uh, timely decision making, the right amount of manpower support, uh, a very vibrant and uh, coherent uh, midwifery regime, 
uh, and support system. I think these are the issues and malnutrition, of course. We'll take a short break here uh, and we'll continue our discussion from here then. We'll take a short break. So Manoj, can you tell us a bit about the Doctor for You initiative? What has it done to prevent the neonatal deaths in the rural and the tribal areas? Doctors for You is an initiative of a set of doctors uh, uh, which they started when they were still in the uh, medical college. Uh, I, I was I was quite lucky to uh, get in touch with them, uh, cross paths at some point, and I'm also a patron of Doctors for You. Uh, Doctors for You is doing a very significant amount of work in this space. Uh, just to flag some of the important uh, initiatives they are working on, they're working on very uh, widespread work on marital and uh, maternal and child care, uh, especially in, in in the backward areas in India. Uh, they're working with state governments like uh, UP, Bihar, Kerala. Uh, they, 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 they're working with the support of uh, international uh, foundations like the Bill Gates Foundation, uh, you know, to provide these very issues that we're talking about, training to nurses, training to uh, doctors. Uh, typically, uh, you find uh, uh, women inside the delivery rooms. So it's very important to, uh, you know, adequately train and fill the gap between a normal nurse and a midwife's requirement in terms of handling the mother and the child. Uh, they're working very extensively on that. Uh, they're working uh, on, on creating innovative surgical procedures, which are low cost so that it is more affordable to a wider section of people. Uh, they've set up a model hospital in Bihar, uh, which is modeled in a way because uh, the, the, the entire innovation center is housed there. And they've evolved some very groundbreaking surgical procedures, which are now being applied in other parts of the country. So Manoj, what measures need to be taken by all the stakeholders to reduce the neonatal death? I think uh, as, as we keep evolving and moving forward in this process, uh, we realize that it's a complete 360 degree uh, approach that we need on the problem. Uh, uh, when we started working on it as a country and as a policy issue, we identified some of the issues, uh, you know, the distances and accessibility of hospitals. So those were the initial steps. I think where we've reached now, there needs to be a far more coordination between different uh, branches of administration, uh, far deeper working between the central state and uh, uh, local bodies, working on a common agenda, uh, which Niti, Niti Aayog is, uh, you know, driving uh, to drive everybody home and a lot more, uh, you know, global cooperation because a lot more funding is required for this. And uh, like most developing economies, allocating funds on these kind of initiatives are equally important as, as many other and therefore uh, far deeper support from, from other developed economies to bring uh, a uniformity in terms of efforts, global efforts to reduce neonatal deaths is the need of the hour. So Manoj, how important is the role of media, especially social media, to create the awareness about the neonatal deaths? Media has a very, very significant role. Uh, as I was mentioning uh, just a while ago that, uh, you know, there's a lot more coordinated and a 360 degree approach is required. I think all these stakeholders need to be brought around to a common cause. And that, uh, you know, connecting all those dots is something which that is very, very unique uh, that media can do. Getting everybody on board, getting the opinions aligned, getting the agendas aligned. I think the right discussion at the right time to enable the right decision making for the right cause is something that media can do. So, Manoj, where do you see the number of neonatal deaths in 2025? How much decrease do you see in it? Well, uh, by 2030, uh, India is uh, uh, expecting to bring it down to a level of 25 per thousand. Uh, if, you, if you peg it, uh, say, 10 years below that, could be the range of uh, around uh, 30 to, 30, uh, you know, 28 to 30 is what we see. That's towards our journey to achieve 25 per thousand by 2030. Thank you so much, Manoj, for joining us. In the end, I would like to wish you good luck for taking such a positive initiative. Till then, keep watching Hindustan on dbtv.live. Goodbye.